Good morning, Year 3. It's Miss Wilkinson. Um, this is Friday's English lesson. And during the lesson today, we are going to plan for writing. Uh, this week, we have done a lot of work around verbs and adverbs. Um, so those are some, some features that we're going to include in our planning today. OK, so I want you to just pause the video for a moment and think about all of the features of good writing that myself and Mr. Howell always, always ask you to include in your writing. How do you keep the writer engaged? Um, I want you to just pause now, have a little think. Okay, the features of good writing that we always, always, always ask you to use are adjectives, to so describing words, Conjunctions to extend our sentences, so, but, or low, when, while. Sentence openers. We've done you've done some work on this this half term with Mr. Howell. Um, starting your sentences with different openers rather than he said, he said, he said. And we're going to explore some more of those this morning. Choice of adverbs and choice of verbs, and that's what you've been working on with me in the past couple of days. Those children that have handed their work in through Teams, very well done. There's some excellent work on there. Okay, I just want to show you um, how you can use, how fe these features of good writing really improve sentences. Um, and make it more interesting for the reader. So this is a simple sentence, not very engaging. I'm just going to read it to you. James went out of his window and ran up the hill. And this sentence, it's the same sentence. All I've done is change the verb. So James climbed out of his window and dashed up the hill. Already, you should be getting a different picture in your head. So James went out of the window. I picture him going out of the front door. James climbed out of his window. Gives us a little bit more of an understanding uh, of James not wanting to be caught. He's having to climb out of a window. Then I've added in some adverbs next to those verbs. So James quietly climbed out of his window and wildly dashed up the hill. Again, just thought that we're quietly climbed. He's not wanting to be caught. Wildly dashed. He, he may be frantic. He wants to get up there really quickly. He might be enthusiastic, really excited about what's up that hill. Or he might be wildly dashing to get away from someone or something. This time I've added a sentence opener. Uh, in the middle of the night gives us that little bit more information. Again, I'm picturing a completely different scene now. When I first read the sentence, James went out of his window and ran up the hill. Um, I pictured it at daytime, but now we know it's in the middle of the night. I've now added a conjunction. Conjunction I've chosen is so. It gives us a, more information, a reason. So in the middle of the night, James quietly climbed out of his window and wildly dashed up the hill so his aunts wouldn't see him. And finally, I have added in some adjectives um, just to set the scene even further for the reader. So in the middle of the night, James quietly climbed out of his broken window and wildly dashed up the hill so his grotesque aunts wouldn't see him. Okay, and I've gone through step by step there, just adding in another feature each time. What I want you to do now is I've started you off with a really simple sentence. He ran up the hill. What I want you to do first is change the verb in the sentence. So your verb in the sentence, your doing word is ran. I want you to change that. Then, after you've written that sentence, I want you to add an adverb in. Then have a different sentence opener. Then extend your sentence with a conjunction. Then I want you to add in some 
adjectives. And it should look something like what I did before. OK, we're going to move on to our planning now. And I want you to bear in mind, keep in your mind, those features of good writing that we've just discussed. Um, we are going to retell the part of the story where James comes out, uh, creeps out of his aunt's house, runs up the hill, examines the peach, crawls through it, and then he hears that he hears vice, he heard voices and smashed through the middle. So this is what your planning sheet is going to look like over on Teams. I have written in each of these boxes what has happened. But they are very simple sentences, very, very boring. In these boxes here, I want adjectives. Then we have sentence openers and verbs and adverbs. Now I've already filled one of these in, so I'm going to show you on the next slide. I've done the first one here. So what happened? James crept from the house. In the adjectives, I have chosen words that I'm going to include in that first paragraph. So old, crooked, vacant. Remember, vacant was one of those words that we discussed earlier on the year. It's really good vocabulary. Um, lonely, cold, overgrown, overgrown bushes surrounding the house. Maybe James had to crawl through them, uh, damp and dirty to describe his room. So they're going to help me when I come to writing on Monday. These are some sentence openers that I may choose to use. Don't have to use all of them. These are just ideas. So finally, finally, James's aunt went to bed so he could creep out of the window. In the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, James decided he would sneak out of the house. After a while, <coughs> excuse me. And on the end here, this is what we've been doing for the past few days. I've used some adverbs and some verbs that I may use uh, in that first paragraph. So what I would like you to do, your task, is to use features of good writing to plan each paragraph. Now, that the four pictures and what I've just shown you are over on Teams. I will also put in some little cheat sheets for your adverbs and verbs and adjectives so you can steal some of the vocabulary on there and add them onto your plan. You are not writing today. I just want your plan prepared so we can write it on Monday. Now remember the better the plan the easier it is for you to write. So if you do all of that thinking today get the good vocabulary down it'll be easier for you to write on Monday. Okay bye Ethere.